versus uh, Locust there, I believe, right? Okay. Yeah, where it was right down to the wire. Game five, extremely patient play by both players. Sonic recognizing the fact that if any of his approaches go wrong, Ryu can make quick work of his life, but having the advantage to make sure that that distance always stays between these two characters, that's what you look for against a Ryu player. Yeah, it, it could be really annoying for Ryu to close in that space gap uh, against Sonic in particular. Manny does have a good amount of matchup practice versus DJ Jack. Those two have played in Winners Finals of previous tournaments before in the past, so this is going to be really interesting because Locus plays completely different compared to any other Ryu I've ever seen. Locus understands what needs to confirm and at what percent and how to capitalize off of the amount of rage that Ryu has and his kill potential. Oh my goodness, we have seen so many creative confirms from Locus. I mean, his breakout performance at Zero Saga, right? We have the Locus now is essentially a ladder off the top of town and city and right there, finding an upsell on the top platform of Battlefield, not gonna kill quite yet because Battlefield does have a tall ceiling, but that is a scary place to be against the Ryu main. Oh! oh. Oh, <laughs> as, you said right there, confirms. as you said that yeah. right there, unfortunately he was not at that percent yet, or uh, unfortunately th there was just not a lot of rage there, but Manny did not tech in that situation, and that was why he ate that true Shoryuken. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, even if it doesn't kill, it's still a free damage on your opponent, bringing them closer to the next one that will end their life. Yeah, that and the regular up B is, uh, oh, but that back air, Sonic is thick, he does have those rocks in his shoes, he lasts quite a while, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, looking like Rock Lee out here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, there is the regular up B that Locust could opt to use as the damage output um, instead of just the regular true sure you can but at this percent Locust is just gonna be looking for that kill potential. And right there that falling there into just up tilt immediately to catch whatever Manny was hoping to do into death. And that's all it takes in this situation. It's so scary for Sonic too because his spin dash, like he needs to use it correctly if he wants to be able to say break through Ryu focus. And there's always the potential that Ryu will just straight up shore you the spin dash and beat it and kill Sonic in that way as well. Leaving Sonic not many safe ways to make his way around the stage. Right. And right now we see Manny just trying to take his time, trying to find a way to close the gap between Locus and Locus knows that this is the scary part for Sonic is approaching him in this matchup, and that's the reason he's not pressing the Grizz's ground. Yeah, that, that's actually why we're not seeing Locus approach in the first place, because he has no need to. He has the uh, the lead right now. He has yeah. a stock lead, and at this moment, you know, when uh, Sonic players do get that lead, that's the moment where they want to play patient. They don't need to overcommit at that moment. Uh, but here, Manny is forced to approach because he has the deficit. Oh my gosh, that was so scary. That absolutely would have broken his shield. Good recognition on Manny to jump out of the way of that forward smash. And right now, Loka's just calmly disengaging to the other side of the stage. This time, looking for a confirm, recognizing the huge amount of percent that Manny has. If he just finds the right back air, the right up tilt, that could be it. Loka's finding in there, not getting anything off of it, though. Manny's staying scarce enough. Oh, that forward air, forward smash, not going to be leading into any sort of death, though. Manny's carefully managing his spin dash situation. I absolutely love how Lucas is using Nair. He's yeah. using it just basically to cut off all of Manny's approach options. Yeah, it's just a huge hitbox around himself so that it can beat out... Uh, it's the same function as a lot of Nairs actually against Sonic, right? It's a reactive option. You see the spin dash coming along the ground. You just use your long-lasting Nair to land on him and you'll beat him out time and time again. And that just makes the cornering that much harder for Manny to deal with. And at the very end there, that was a very interesting dash attack. Uh, it was really smart of Locus to recognize that Manny was jumping a lot in the air at that moment, so that dash attack was able to catch his landing. Um, but at the same time, I felt like it was a DI mix-up option on purpose because of the fact that Manny wanted to constantly be away from Locus, and because of that, when he that dash attack connected, he was already DIing towards the left. Yeah, giving him the homie DI that he wanted yeah. to lead to his early death. And that, that dash attack does have a good amount of knockback as well, so that did help out. Yeah. See what Manny changes this time around. I mean, this is already scary because right, right out of the gate, right, he has that percent deficit, and Locus once again knows it, backing himself into the corner, just lots of short hops, putting himself in a position so that he can react to Manny's approach with, say, a Nair like he was doing previous game. Ooh, that forward smash tilted downwards, did not connect there, did not catch the two frame, but it's okay. Reverse hit a Nair. <laughs> there's, there's no angle of Nair that won't beat out spin dash. It looks like. And right now, actually, Manny with the lead and having the luxury for once to get a force Locust to go in. 
I'm interested to see how he can, how much he can capitalize off of that. Making his way just across the stage whenever Locust gets near. Not even worrying too much about how he's going to hit Locust, more about can I find myself a safe escape to the other side and keep this going, maybe get Locust flustered enough to make a, a mistake that I can actually get some serious damage in on. Absolutely, but with a stage like this on Final Destination, Ryu really struggles on landing in any hit in general, but unfortunately he jumps and Manny catches him with that up air, extending on that mistake that Locust made. He's gonna try to run away with this. Now that he has the lead, he has no no reason to approach. Yeah, and I, I want to see Manny take full advantage of that. We saw what awful things were happening to him last game when he was forced to close that distance. Now he should make it his mission to just keep this restraining order intact, keep Locust 30 feet away at all times. And right now, Locust looking right there, trying to get a sure you can read on the spin dash as it was coming in through, but missed timing it, not able to find it. Yeah, Locust is trying to take advantage of the frame one invincible move. Too sure you can. Uh, I mean, not a bad option to try to counter the side B that uh, Manny is kind of just you know waiting there, waiting for the approach and taking advantage of the little hop that has invincibility. Yeah, like right there actually. He, he's doing it twice now. Locust trying to jump in on the uh, spinning. On the spin, right, with the Nair recognizing this oh will be. Oh my gosh! Oh! Try to get the reverse to Shar Yukin right there, expecting Manny to try to go for the cross up instead. Yeah, but unable to find it, and Locus running out of ideas and closing this distance, right? Because so far that spin jump hop has been beating all of Locus's approach choices, where it ends up the invincibility beating out the falling Nair, uh, and it goes through shield if Locus tries to approach too safely. He needs to find himself some way to beat that. Perhaps a way to bait it out a bit earlier and then punishing that instead. Okay, the second up, up to up air does not connect. Man. And this is almost a, a 180 completely from compared to the last game. Oh yes, the, the amount of change that we see just because Manny took the lead early in this game, right? It just snowballed from there. We're getting to force Ryu to approach over and over again and winning that approach situation. Both characters not having ideal tools to approach each other means that the, within the first 20 seconds, in some ways, the whole match can be decided. And there we go, just the clean spin dash into up air leads to a two stock in Manny's favor. This is going to be Locus's counter pick though. So I'm curious where he might go. Town and City is sort of the, the leaning that a lot of people have, but I mean, against Sonic, that gives Sonic so much space to roam around, not just on the base floor, but also on those platforms as well. Yeah, I was thinking Town and City at first as well. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, those platforms that Triplats could give Ryu allows him to maneuver himself around Sonic a lot better as well. Yes. That Final Destination stage, honestly, probably would have been my first ban. Uh, I do not want to ever take Sonic there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you could try to catch his landings, but his air mobility is a lot better than Ryu. So, but we are seeing a game on Lila instead. Another uh, stage that I feel like could benefit both these characters, actually. Yeah, I feel like this is a more neutralish stage. This does have platforms, which do does help Locus maneuver around Spin Dash a little bit better. Also provides some good landing trap opportunities for both characters. Uh, it is an interesting choice to see uh, Ryu, uh, especially Locus, take somebody here because Lilat, because of its tilting, is known to throw off really technical players who are, rely on being frame perfect with their conversions. Uh, if you don't anticipate the tilts, your, your combos start falling apart. Absolutely, and you know, that's the one thing about this is you actually can't know when it's going to tilt in a certain direction. It's never always sent. Mm -hmm. It's based on what the uh, background of the stage currently is, right? Because the ship is currently navigating through the oh, minefield. Oh my and goodness. Oh my goodness. That was such a smart option of Manny to yeah. get out of that situation because he would have been taken across the stage as if he was getting wave shine and been down there. Oh, and, yes. Uh, I, for a last game like that, that is something you definitely do not want at 50%. What a momentum killer, especially when you have the oh. lead and now a stock lead on top, getting the same setup he got last game. Up air into a spring. Up air once again to close out Locus's life. And Locus again in this situation where he has to keep coming in on Manny, this time being able to find it a lot easier though. Locus getting the power shield, just trying to read Manny's option after spin dashing through his shield, not getting it that time. There's only so many things Manny can do. Locus just trying to cover that situation space. He's not going at Manny, right? He's trying to guess which escape route Manny wants and trying to cover that instead. 
Yeah, something different that we're actually noticing from the last game, this game, versus the first game is Lokis is jumping into Manny a lot more now because of the fact that he's forced to approach. He wasn't getting the one-two hit and then back away first. Yeah. Manny was able to do that, and at that moment, that's when Manny has that lead and that momentum, and he's able to run away with the game for it. Quite literally running away with this game. Manny finding his little hits, just widening that gap bit by bit, because the, the important thing about landing these hits is if Manny does lose his stock, he still has a lead then going into the next one, right? He can't right. afford to just keep running away. Widening this gap increases his chance of keeping this lead if he does make a mistake, and it also makes oh, Locus wow. more flustered. Great focus attack through that Sonic back air. Not want to be put into that position where he's even more further off stage without a jump. And here we go, another situation. This time double jumping and air dodging away using all of his options <laughs> to escape that. He was like, not again, please. But oh. that back air mix up, hitting Locus and taking the set over Locus. With a four stock essentially, right? Because he two stocked him last game as well. What a turnaround just the beginning moments of a game can make for some of these matchups. And Locus going to be 